I'm Ed Gamble and I'm a type 1 diabetic, which means sometimes if I want to have a pudding, it's a lot of hassle. So today I've come to restaurant Mark Greenaway where I've brought my friend James Acaster who's going to eat a pudding for me. We're just going to go through the menu. I'm going to ask you a few questions to yeah, make, of make the right decision. Uh, it was for me, really. This isn't about what James yeah, wants yeah. at all. Uh, so, stra strawberry and mess. Yeah, but it's got all the essential food groups. You've got custard, jelly, cream, <laughs> fruit, ice cream, sorbet, marshmallow, caramel. Everything you're growing for needs. Exactly. Yeah. So, there's about three of your five a day just on that. Perfect. Well, and now, well, what's frozen is spuma? So, a spuma's a mousse. So, ah, we've okay. got a strawberry mousse and then we freeze it. Good. That's. Were you worried about nice. it? A spuma, before I knew what it meant, didn't sound nice. No. no and then when you said a mousse, it sounds delicious. We've also got oh, um, a special dessert as well that we keep for the taste menu that I know James loves. Rocks and moss. Rocks and moss? Yeah. So it comes out and it looks like a pile of rocks with moss. Um, but but it isn't. I'm going to go left field with this one for me. I'm going to go frozen raspberry mousse. You are type 1 diabetes. Type 1. I, I'm type 1 diabetic. I'm not type 1, all of type 1 diabetes. You're not type 1 diabetes? No, I don't. I am not the physical embodiment of the entire condition. So how do you identify yourself? You identify as? Type 1 diabetic. Di type 1 diabetic. Yeah. Oh, no, it's actually we're giving it to this gentleman. It's for me, but via him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, look at that. It looks like an empty bowl. This is a raspberry juice for you. What? Well, that is awesome. <laughs> that was very Thank exciting. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was hidden under there. I liked that. We're going to take a little component of everything. OK. Tell me what order. Maybe a whole raspberry, because that's healthy, isn't it? Um, then some of the frozen mousse, which is still looking quite frozen. I Maintaining how, its shape yeah. very well. Um, then a little bit of squiggle. Squigs? Yes. And then one of the Star Trek blobs. And then I think, I think you might be ready here. Big spoon number one. Oh, he's, oh, he's taking all that, isn't he? Eyes are shut. That's a positive. I'm going to put that. Where, when you juice. close your eyes, I'm really interested to know, when you close your yeah. eyes, where were you? Where did you go? I felt like I was in a summer garden in a marquee at a wedding, but a wedding for rich people. A rich person's wedding. How rich? Um, aristocracy? Uh, they own like a, a stately home, but like they don't really have much money anymore, really. So it's fallen into disrepair. Yeah. But so is it one of their weddings, or are they hosting a wedding on the grounds to make money to upkeep the house? Both. One of their weddings, and they hosted it to upkeep the house. So how are they making money from their own wedding, though? Just puddings. Puddings, OK. I see what's happened here is you now you, you can't think of anything but puddings. There we go. Shut his eyes. Is he back at the wedding now? Oh. This, like, river. There's this, like, electric river that runs yeah. through it of electric... Is this at the wedding or are we somewhere else now? This is, like, if you maybe... I think I've got a memory of, like, an advert when I was a child of, for, for juice. Mm. For like cartoned juice, mm -hmm. where umbongo perhaps. Yeah, but uh, it wasn't umbongo, but it was something similar where they did like an electric. It was this when they kind of did a thing of like with one of those, one yeah. of those things. We should ask. It felt like it kind of went in a zigzag across my tongue. It's all about balance. This whole thing. Yeah, I'm getting that. Your creaminess and crunchiness, and the squiggle. So a lot like a good friendship. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Like a good friendship, all balanced out. So that nothing overpowers, nothing is too overpowering in the whole thing. What would you say, our, our friendship, who do you think's creamy and who do you think's crunchy? I'm probably creamy. And you're creamy. You're the crunchy one. Crunchy? Yeah. More of an attitude to you. Bit more edge. Yeah. 
in a good way. In a, yeah, well, I think you're creamy in a good way. Yeah. James, you know what I'm going to say now? I think you've described that so well. Yeah. You get to eat the rest of it. Eat the rest of it. Don't need to describe it. You can just go wherever you like in your head, and I'm just going to watch you, watch you enjoy it, because that's how I get my enjoyment. If you ate this, Ed. Yeah. What would that mean for you? Well, I'd have to inject <coughs> some insulin. I don't know how much, because you know, it's not overdone portion size-wise, is it? But it's very sweet. I'd probably have to budget maybe four and a half units of of insulin for that. Mm. But then I'd have to be checking it, checking my blood sugar levels an hour after, and it's just quite a lot of hassle if I've got other things to do. So, yeah. you know, now I can, what I can do is I can just go and read your notes mm. and maybe um, have a look at this picture of you enjoying it. Is that how happy I look? That's you after a mouthful. I can't really do hands. That's quite good, though. Yeah. Look at my eyes, how they stare. That's where you, you've gone somewhere else, though. Yeah, savouring it all. You can tell it's, it's in there and it's in there. Yeah, it's all spread down. Going down my throat. The electric river. The electric river. The tan. Thank you, James. That's... I'm glad I could help. Anything for a friend. Well, let's, let's do this again sometime. Yes. Anything for a friend. Creamy and crunchy. Just puddings.